Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you're all doing well in these uh, coronavirus days and all the lockdowns uh, and stuff like that. As usual we're gonna do the majors including uh, gold and oil and uh, yeah if you like these videos do not forget to hit that like button. If you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, um, a quick look at the calendar and as you see uh, the week gets interesting uh, near the end uh, on Thursdays uh, where we're going to have uh, manufacturing and services PMI from um, Europe, uh, we're going to have unemployment claims and also manufacturing PMI from the US uh, and on Friday we have retail sales from the uh, from UK and uh, the German IFO business climate uh, for the Europe. So. Uh, as I said, not much at the beginning of the week, but it's get very interesting, uh, especially on Thursday. These numbers gonna be uh, very important to keep an eye at. Um, we will start with the Dixie, and as usual, this is the main chart that we focus on to know where the um, uh, dollar uh, direction is. And as you see, we have <laughs> the Dixie is um, start uh, squeezing nicely here now. Uh, it is a bit tricky to know if we're gonna get one more like this and continuation up or if we're gonna get a break below and continuation down. Uh, it is very hard to uh, predict that because you had this first impulse, then you have a lower high, then after that instead of getting a lower low, if, if a lower low was printed we would say look for a, uh, a correction and continuation. But what happened instead after the uh, this uh, lower high here we got a higher low and there is a potentially um, another lower high and another higher low to happen so this chart could start looking something like this before any direction up or down that is what make it tricky for predicting the longer term while the short term uh, it's more easy because all we get, we need to do is go down to one lower time frame uh, like the four hour here and uh, check the, um, uh, the the keys to swings we have and I think it was uh, we have this uh, key swing up here we have this key swings down here and we have these old uh, levels that we've been trading for a while so in my opinion the the the, the main range for now is this one here on the Dixie so uh, that make it a little bit more tradable because um, what we could do is uh, wait for uh, the market to reach that uh, monthly pivot point once again when we had this uh, bounce higher from last week it reacted very strongly at that level to look for a possible buys or if broken we look for that continuation to the downside the same would be for if the market would move higher we keep an eye on this level for a potential rotation back down so in my opinion this monthly pivot gonna be a key level uh, here on the dollar because as you see here the <coughs> last week we tested this level we've got a very very strong push to the upside a retest and continuation but what happened was that uh, the market failed to keep moving higher got this double top we've got this uh, bearish divergence and the market pushed down now if we go down even one more time frame to the, uh, as we have did now on the one hour uh, it is also clear that this structure here this support level at the 200 moving average gonna also be a very interesting uh, short term level that if broken we look for a retest and continuation back to monthly s1 this is always what i do when i'm a bit confused about the longer term um, prediction so it's much better to go down to a lower time frame and play those until the market show the real direction for the higher time frame uh, Oil broke lower guys, oil <laughs> broke below that uh, 1950 or 20 level that we, we've been watching so uh, it did close below the range and we are at levels of yeah we are testing this uh, these lows from um, 2001 and uh, below that there is nothing until we reach uh, the, the 10 11 area so uh, pretty interesting to see how oil will uh, continue here but as for now it is still a bearish structure and we do have um we do have a break lower but 
be careful yeah I mean um, this could be um, also a possibility that uh, we see a break to the upside once again and enter the range but if oil fails to enter the range once again the continuation to the downside is to happen okay so as far as we are below this range keep shorting oil <coughs> gold broke lower if you look on the daily time frame here we see that we have a nice rotation i think um, 1640 down here is still key level now after this um, break to the upside we had this rotation the market did break lower below monthly r1 <clears throat> which is an important pivot for now if we go down to lower time frame we see that uh, we had a top here with a lower high and the neckline got broken we've got another uh, break and retest on lower time frame if you look on the one hour time frame so this neckline was broken we reached 200 moving average retested monthly r1 and continue it so um, all in all if uh, gold uh, breaks below this level we are going to 1640 next week so keep an eye on that any failure to break higher uh, next week uh, at around monthly r1 look to short it towards 1640 but do not forget that the uh, bigger time frame is still bullish because we do have these higher highs higher lows we broke higher we broke above previous high and we may continue higher toward 1800 actually in the longer run run but short term look for that 1640 uh, as a possible uh, market objective EURUSD also a bit tricky if we look on the daily time frame uh, it is doing the opposite of the uh, of the Dixie so we have a lower high up there we have another lower high and now we have a higher low so um, it is squeezing and it is uh, also hard to predict so that's why we need to use the lower time frame even on this one and in my opinion as far as this support down here is holding it is still a possibility for the bulls to push this market back toward monthly uh, pivot point or maybe tag this previous high any break below that would mean a continuation back down toward monthly s1 for next week so pretty straightforward there is no guessing no nothing here just keep buying this sell the high here and if it breaks lower then you look for a continuation toward monthly s1 those are the levels to watch for this market uh, next week sterling usd um, still um, in this uh, bullish move with a higher low another higher high we uh, reached the 200 moving average and the key structure level that have been tested many times here as you see uh, both as support and resistance so we had some reaction at that level on the way up uh, and um, yeah the 200 moving average got tested and we need to confirm a higher low here if we get a close above this previous high so uh, next week if uh, a daily candle close uh, above uh, this area then we do have our uh, higher low confirmation and continuation because you have this swing now and we are looking for a confirmation of another higher low here that need to uh, be broken this neckline need to be broken for that confirmation and that would make uh, things much easier to say keep buying the dips on this market it is still actually on these uh, uh, time frames a uh, bullish market we are inside a consolidation or a correction and we may get a continuation up if we break above the neckline you see it clearly here a nice double bottom with a uh, bullish divergence on the rsi so uh, it need to break above this neckline to then look for continuation and if this high got broken we are talking about a um, bigger rotation to the upside maybe toward uh, 1.300 uh, once again USDJP also uh, consolidating a little bit down here uh, the range is clear you keep an eye on 107 and 10850 for now so keep buying 107 selling 10850 until we have some kind of break uh, out but i mean uh, if we look on the daily time frame uh, we have the same situation here we have um, a lower high then a double bottom so everything could happen here that's why i'm keeping uh, the lower time frame as my level to play and um, yeah 
as you see here on this chart any break below this double bar that would signal a big drop back down toward 105 so that's why we are using this level as a key structure area to work with for next week any retest to this area could get defended back up toward these levels or toward 108.50 and uh, if broken it's game over and we are going back toward 105 okay usd chief also squeezing and tricky all the dollar um, uh, pairs are doing the same you have a higher low you have a lower high you have another higher low and it may keep doing this until uh, a little bit more before a break to the upside or a break to the downside so longer term we do have an impulse we may be inside and correction and get one more like this but uh, it's very hard to know now that's why we keep playing these uh, lower time frame uh, levels and uh, i still see this area as a key structure of resistance and each time it get tested and fail to make a new high is a reason to go short back toward uh, these lows or maybe even toward uh, this area just below monthly pivot point um, until we see a break above this level here until we see a break above this high and the trend line it still should be shorting but if uh, a break above this previous high and the trend line happen then we probably going for another retest of this level up here so uh, those are the areas to watch it is a clean structure here that been tested many times and we will keep using that as a possible level of uh, interest and as you see here um, this uh, little um, this uh, little trend line now is uh, clearly broken uh, we could get some kind of um, we have the impulse we could get some kind of bearish flag and then a continuation to the downside next week if that uh, would be the case then we uh, target previous low at least <coughs> USD CAD also if we go to the daily time frame this one is a little bit more trending at least because we have a lower high here a lower low another lower high another lower low and now we have confirmed another lower high so we are probably going to test this previous low uh, especially after the market broke below this um, the low of thursday and close below it so there is a potential move back toward uh, this previous low down down here at least uh, so keep an eye on that level as you see we had a very strong impulse here but then it fails to uh, make a new high it did break the neckline we've got another retest and continuation that broke below monthly pivot point and below support so uh, you see it clearly here on the one hour time frame what kind of structure we are working with so i'm looking for something like this and continuation back down toward these levels but this pair needs some help from oil at the moment it is not uh, much for a help uh, the oil is um, as you saw earlier broken uh, uh, broke to the downside Oz usd also still in a bullish uh, momentum move with a nice higher low another higher high a swing lower another higher low now is confirmed and there is potential continuation toward this area if we keep moving at the same uh, pace and momentum so keep an eye on that on the lower time frame i think monthly pivot point gonna be an interesting level if tested but short term uh, on the one hour you see the 200 moving average acting nicely as dynamic support so as far as we the market is holding above that look for continuation and any break above this level will signal even more upside on uh, this market for this uh, to reverse to the downside and start selling rallies it need to break below this level so if that would be the case especially after this um, impulse to the downside one could argue that we may getting a correction a con and a continuation lower and that could be very true actually it's hard to know now and um, that's why I'm saying that uh, if this swing low uh, failed to hold as support here and got broken then we are probably going for another round to the downside on the short term on uh, this market New Zealand USD same situation still um, trending nicely on the daily with higher highs and higher lows and I'm uh, even expecting this one maybe to continue uh, higher to retest these levels as you see here on the four hour and the one hour we still um, also holding this uh, support area 
and that's why I'm thinking we may get more upside here especially after uh, establishing this uh, weird uh, head and shoulder scenario neckline is broken uh, we have a break above previous high we have an impulse we may get this correction and then a continuation toward previous high is what I'm looking for on on this market especially if the stocks uh, will keep moving higher so uh, <clears throat> yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye